asking a doctor is. I just want him to get here and give us a break. He'll be here. So don't anything. Well, how do you know so much? How do you know it's even a he? I did it. Congratulations. Did what? Why are you in Southland? He's our new doctor. Cool, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I uh, negotiated a new contract. Oh, what'd you get? A rise? New desk scope. Well, you don't hold out. Tell us what you're getting and I'm not. Well, Dr. Solomon, Andrew, I should say, is increasing my package incrementally. Oh, meaning what? Five dollars this year, five dollars the next? I'll get a pay increase when I pass my part once and uh, I'll be teaching some of the junior staff. You know what that means, don't you? You might be training me. He'll be your boss. So you see Lee May and then the good people do rise above the rest. Time to celebrate. Top shelf. My shelf. Uh, thanks. Uh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> I thought you'd given up on that little fantasy. We're together. Get used to it. What is wrong with women your own age? I love her, Tony. I've loved her since the first minute I saw her. I don't care whether she is 17 or 70. I love her. And thank God she loves me too. You're serious about this? For the first time in my life, nothing else matters. I would give up my job, my career, anything, just to be with her. Real deal, huh? I swear. Well, buckle up, baby. Because when Barb gets back, there's going to be fireworks. We know. And we don't care. Hey, where'd you guys get to? Well, my uncle and Talia were so blown away by the reception we gave them, they headed back to my auntie's place. Oh, huh. okay. No, Shannon, it's not okay. They were very unimpressed. What, with this place? No, by you. Me? Why? Well, you walked in late and then you go straight to the shower with a, yeah, good day. All very friendly. Look, I'm sorry, OK, but I've been working since 6 o'clock in the morning. Excuse me for wanting to tidy myself up a bit before I socialise. W where's your respect, huh? You didn't even shake my uncle's hand and I just finished telling him how great you were. Oh, well, now you know better, don't you? <sighs> Come on, Shannon. I never meant it like that. I'm just disappointed that you didn't get to meet my family properly. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. I guess I just wanted to impress them. What, with me? Yeah, well, I mean, my uncle's a big shot businessman. And his son's a doctor. And I just wanted them to have a good picture of us. Then you're just going to have to cope then, aren't you? There are plenty of people who are going through way worse. Oh, like tell me. He's trying to get his uncle out of prison. I think that, that beats sucking up to some snobby rallies, don't you? Who the hell was that? Who was who? I saw you from the balcony. Now, whose motorbike was that and what possessed you to get in the back of it? It was Judy Brownlee. She gave me a lift home. Do you have any idea of the injuries I see resulting from motorbike crashes? Judy says car drivers are the problem. They don't look. I don't care what Judy says, all right? I do not want you to ever get in that motorbike again. Now, where have you been? Why are you so late? I went for a walk. Lost track of time. For three hours since school? Way more than that, actually. I skipped afternoon classes, went to the park. With who? No one. Tom, was it? Like that it ever happened now. Jake said you had a bit of a bust up. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have. It's none of your business anyway. Scarlett, don't speak to me like that. I'm not telling you anything ever again. You won't even let me have friends. Of course I will. I want you to have friends. No, you don't. You make sure anyone I ever like runs a mile. Look, sweetheart, it might seem like that, but all I'm trying to do is to keep you out of trouble. You have to realise that Trouble? I... So the people I like are trouble. Sometimes, yes. Tash, Danielle, Tom, Judy, did I miss anyone? Look, I made an effort to be home on time, and yet again you're not here and no one knows where you are. Now, I'm allowed to be concerned, all right? Yeah, well, if all you think I do is get into trouble, you should have stayed at work. OK. I work too much. I accept that. But I'm trying to do the right thing. Now, I cannot cope if you and your brother are both spinning off the rails. Jack was right. About what? You don't give a stuff about either of us. I bet you were the same to Mum. No wonder she left. We're back in Shortland Street at the same time tomorrow and there's real life medical drama tonight at 8.30 when Dr. Mark Hamilton asks another health-seeking hopeful how long will you live?